Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another cleaning video. As you can tell, I just really had to like pick up and wipe down and get everything done and back to normal. On this particular day, I was just trying to get a few rooms cleaned before I went to bed so I would wake up and feel just refreshed and like everything was back in its place because homeschool was a little out of hand, my living room was a little out of hand, and I just wanted to get everything back to normal. So come along, clean with me. I hope this gives you some much needed motivation to just pick up and clean those few rooms in your house that need that refresh before you uh, go to bed for the night. So on this particular night, I actually vacuumed my dining room, my living room, because those were the two rooms I was working on, but I went through on what was left of my charge on my vacuum, and I vacuumed like the entryway, the hallways, the walkways, um, I might have even vacuumed in the kitchen, I can't even remember, but I usually do that. And then this is something I actually do every single day, um, at least the days we do homeschool, is at night I go ahead and write a checklist. And so I usually write the date on top and I write what subjects we're doing for that day so we can check them off as we go through the day. Um, because we don't do history and science every single day, we kind of go back and forth on them. So then when my son gets up in the morning, he knows what's expected of him and what he needs to do and um, a lot of stuff he can do by himself. And I even put like piano on here because he takes piano lessons. And so that's kind of in with our homeschool. So he practices piano every day on that. Well, it looks like a long list, but a lot of it's little stuff like typing, handwriting, little things that he can do that don't take very long. I'm not sure if anybody else's mom does this, but my mom always sends boxes, especially for different holidays. 
and so that's why there is a box here and it had um, stuff for Halloween it was like the Halloween box and it was fun stuff for my son to do there's always candy there's always gifts for us and she tries to do this even if there's not a holiday like at least probably every month every other month she'll send a box and it's really nice so um, I was kind of going through all that and I actually have a basket no joke in my pantry where I put a lot of the goodies and it's just like the basket from grandma's box because she'll send a lot of um, candy and things like that and then I'll have nowhere to put it so I have a designated like grandma's box basket in my pantry so I know it's such a funny thing but it's definitely my reality and I feel so blessed to be able to have that. One of the last things I did on this particular night was I vacuumed my living room rug. It's a little bit harder to vacuum and I usually do it last because then it looks really fluffy and nice for me at the end because it's kind of more of like a shaggy rug. Um, so I did quite a bit and then sadly enough my vacuum just died. Oh my gosh it was so sad but in the morning I went over uh, the rug again and everything was fine. So I hope this gave you some much needed cleaning motivation to just um, pick up, wipe down everything right before you go to bed and really the next day I felt so much better and I just felt like everything was nice when I came out that morning and that is what made it all worth it. And this really didn't take me very long or anything like that and I felt so much better going to sleep and so much better getting up. So if you can't clean your whole entire house, just clean what you can do that very night and make it a room that is going to bring you some much needed satisfaction when you get up that morning. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, for coming over, and I will see you in my next brand new video. Bye for now. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button.